Hello, it's Gem Games, and in this video we're going to create these mobile touchscreen buttons. So you can move, you can run, or you can jump, or whatever you want to map these buttons to. So yeah, let's get started. First, we want to go to the Edit and to the Project Settings. And we want to search for a touch. We want to make the always show touch interface true and also here use mouse for touch like this okay now we can close this now we want to go to the blueprints folder and we want to create a new folder here let's call this mo mobile touch okay let's open it and here on the mobile touch what we want to do we want to create a blueprint class and we want to search for a widget user widget okay let's call this touch buttons or something like that okay and yeah also let's create a folder let's call this icons now you want to go to the link in the description which takes you to my google drive this mobile touch resources for uh, folder here we have this kenny on-screen controls you want to open that open the sprites and here we have all these eight folders you can select whatever you want so transparent light looks like actually i will show it show you them on the folder here so transparent light looks like this transparent dark of course the same but dark Trans shaded light is like this it has some these little shadows here basically and line light you know it's only the outlines and flat light this is the basic like normal most simple one okay so you want to do download the folder that you want to use and then let's import them to this icon icons folder so i will use this flat light buttons so let's move them to here okay simple as that next thing we want to go back to the blueprints and we want to create our uh player controller so to the blueprint class and player controller let's call this like third person controller but you can obviously call it whatever you want let's open it we want to change a few things here show mouse cursor and yeah that's actually all uh, actually let's enable all the enable click events like that now we can close this now let's go to the pp third person game mode let's change our player controller to our third person controller or the one that we just created like that compile save and now we want to close this okay now let's go to the mobile touch folder and here on the mobile touch let's open the touch buttons Let's drag from it and let's move it next to the third person map. Now let's also go to the blueprints and let's open the PP third person character. Let's actually move this to be the first, like this. Yeah. And now what we want to do here on the event begin play, we want to actually let's go first to the touch buttons and to the graph. Let's add a variable here this will be called player ref and the variable type will be third person character object reference or if you're using some other project your player character and this blue one object reference like that. okay and here we want to make it instance editable and also expose on spawn like this i want to compile save and let's go to the pp third person character now here on the event begin play we want to 
create widget and we want to select our touch buttons widget now from the player ref we want to track and get a reference to self so we are basically promoting ourselves as a variable on the widget okay now we want to track from the return value and we want to add to viewport so we will actually see the widget now we can compile we can save now let's create some basic functions here just like jumping and sprinting so let's actually delete this jump all this from here now let's right click and create a custom event uh, or you can obviously leave the uh, jump uh, the old jump event here and connect this to the whatever you have after that so the jump node but we will do it this way now so let's rename this custom event jump or actually like jump event and I did some little error okay jump event and also let's create another here under custom event let's call this run or sprinting or whatever let's create one more because we will need two events for make the running work so let's call this stop running okay and actually let's create the code also because it's super easy so from the jump event let's just call jump character jump like this simple as that and from the run what we want to do we want to get the character movement we want to track from it and we want to set max walk speed okay and we want to copy this node so control c control v or just control d if you want to do it like that and yeah now we have it on the both events let's connect this to the target also now when we start to run we want to set our max walk speed to be bigger than the default 500 so let's make it let's make it double so one oh not like that 1000 and when we stop running we want to set it back to the normal so 500 you can obviously use whatever values you want but you if you set something here you want to also make it here to match with this okay so these are done so let's compile let's save let's go to the touch buttons and here what we want to do we want to go to designer we want to add a canvas panel uh, actually why I'm searching from there you want to search from here so canvas panel let's move it to here okay and with this canvas panel what we want to do we want to add a button let's move it to here and this button we want to leave it anchored to this point i will show you later why and now let's open the style and here on the normal let's select our image that we want to use i want to use this 09 so the empty button now the size here is 160 by 160 so let's set the size to, to match that so 160 and 160 and also i want to move this to maybe maybe here so like um, should it be like Oh, sorry one more thing we have to do let's make this alignment 0.5 also this alignment 0.5 i will later explain also this now basically what this does is it changes the pivot point from here to the middle okay now let's set the position x to i will set it to 1750 by 900 so it's there it's pretty good now let's rename this button to be jump button 
or whatever you want to use it with, but let's rename it to that now. Now we want to draw this image as not as rounded box because otherwise it will have these lines here. So we want to draw it as an image like that. Now we want to copy right click from this and copy so we we can paste the details to here so we don't have to change all these one by one. So let's paste it to Howard. Also let's paste it to Prest. Now let's open the Prest one and here on the tint what we want to do we want to make this color a little bit darker. Maybe like that. And also let's actually set this alpha to like 0.9. Okay. Something like that. And let's add a little text here. Let's move it to the bottom. Let's change the color to be black. Let's change the text to jump. Okay. And one more thing that we want to do here with this text is we want to scroll down. We want to here on the uh, ba -ba -ba, visibility. We want to change it from the visible to non-hit testicle. So it's visible, but it's not like you cannot click that, like that. Okay, now let's actually duplicate this jump button. And let's rename it to be run button. Let's move the run button to... Fifteen hundred and on the Y nine hundred, so it's there. You can obviously move them to wherever you want, but these are good for me. Now this text here, let's click on it and let's rename this to run like this. Okay. Now if we compile, we save and we play, we should see. Actually, let's close this and let's click from the three dots and new window editor, new editor window, sorry. Let's play on that so we can see it like this. Now we have these buttons, but they doesn't do anything yet. And we have this, this should work as default. And with right click, it will simulate the uh, touch two. So the other finger, so you can actually drag and rotate like this. So yeah, let's make this work. So how can we do that? We want to go to the touch buttons and we want to click, for example, first on the jump button. Let's scroll down. Let's click on the on pressed. Okay, let's click on the jump button again and on released. Okay, now the run button on pressed and run button on released. Okay, and now here on the on pressed jump button, actually let's delete all these first. On pressed jump button, what we want to do, and to get the player ref, and we already have the reference to player, so we don't have to cast to the player character anymore, because we did it here on the begin play. We added, promoted ourselves as the PP third person character, as variable on the touch buttons. Widget. So now when we get from this, we call the jump event here. We call it. And we don't actually have to uh, connect anything to the on the release released yet. Let's move this a little bit further down. And also on the on press run button, let's get the player ref. Let's call the run like this. Also, let's call the stop running. Like that. Now let's align this. Select and Q. Select and Q. Like that. Compile. Let's save all. Let's go to the third person map and let's play. So now, when we press jump, the player jumps. And when we move, we can also move with the keyboard, like the A, S, D, and W. When we press run, you can see I will actually 
turn the camera a little bit so you can see. Okay, we are running. So we're walking, or not walking, but you know, and now sprinting. Okay, so yeah, everything is working like it's supposed to work. So I actually think that this was all for this video. So if you like the video, please click the like button and subscribe for more. And yeah, hope you have a great day and see you on the next one. Bye.